Hi guys! How to set up a printer for networking, today we will learn how to do it in Windows 11. Turn on the printer and connect it to your computer or laptop. Then click, here, and write, Control Panel. In this window, click, Hardware and Sound. Then, Devices and Printers. And if you installed the printer drivers correctly, in this window you should see the icon of your printer, just like we see Canon, G, 2010 series here. Right click and select Printer Properties. Click, Sharing. In this window, click, Change Sharing Options. Here you need to check the box, Share this printer. Click, Apply. OK. If a green arrow appears on the printer icon, it means that the printer is configured correctly for networking. Now in the control panel. Go to Network and Internet. Network and Sharing Center. And here we open, Change Advanced Sharing Settings. Let's open the section, Private, choose, turn on network discovery, turn on file and printer sharing. Now choose, guest or public. Now select, turn on network discovery, turn on file and printer sharing. Now choose, all networks. Turn on sharing so anyone with network access can read and write files in the public folders. and turn off password protected sharing. Save changes. Close control panel. Open, settings. Here we see the name of our computer, and if you have a long and obscure name, change it for easy communication with other computers. Click, here. Write a new name, and click, next. I'll call my computer, PC1, it's easy to remember. If you change the name of your PC, the system will ask you to reboot, but I will close the settings first, and then restart the computer. Now let's move on to computer number 2. Click, search, and write, control panel. Here, open network and internet. Then, network and sharing center. And here we open change advanced sharing settings. Let's open the section, private, choose. Turn on network discovery. Turn on file and printer sharing. Now choose, guest or public. Now select, turn on network discovery, turn on file and printer sharing. Now choose, all networks. Turn on sharing so anyone with network access can read and write files in the public folders. And turn off password protected sharing. Save changes. You must restart your computer for the changes to take effect. Computer number 2 has rebooted, and now you need to open File Explorer to connect to the printer over the network. I open, Explorer, click, Network, We see that the computer has found another device on the network, but the printer is still not here. It may appear later, because computer and printer names may disappear and then appear in this list, and to avoid problems, it is better to do the following. Right-click on an empty spot on the desktop, and select Create, Shortcut Put two backslashes, and write the name of another computer to which the printer is connected. 
I will write, PC1. Next. Finish. We click on the new shortcut. And the network folder opens, in which the printer is located. To connect to the printer, right click and select, connect. Instead of connecting to a printer, many users may see an error message, and several system updates from Microsoft are the cause of this problem. Later I will make a separate video about solving this problem, and now I will show you the most sure way to remove this error when connecting to a printer on a network. Let's move on to computer number 1. Right click, start, and select, run. Right here, re-get it. Click, enter. In this window, open the section, key local machine, then, system. Open, current control set. Control. Find, print. and click on it. Now on the right, on an empty space, right click, and select Dword, 32-bit, value. Now you need to enter a new name for this value. This name will be indicated in the description of my video, and you can simply copy it and then paste it in place of the old name. Now double click on it, and leave the value at zero. Okay. I hope that you have solved the problem with the error, and now we close the registry editor, and for the changes to take effect, you must restart the computer. Let's move on to computer number 2. And so, I double click on the PC icon 1. In this window I right click on the printer icon, and select, connect. The network connection to the printer is now successful. I close the window, and open the document to make a test print and check, how the printer works over the network. I click, file, then, print. Here I select, print, and I click, here, to select the printer to print. Here I select the printer connected to the PC alone and click, print. Now we see that the printer icon has appeared on the taskbar, which means that the document has begun printing. The document has finished printing and the printer has completed its work successfully. This concludes my lesson, and if you found this helpful, please share my video with anyone, write me a comment, I will answer all your questions and try to help you. Thank you very much for watching my video, good luck!